Hello guys, how are you? This is Asghar Ali with Computerized Accounting Software Peach Tree, and this is our lecture number six. This lecture will cover purchase process using purchase order under maintain menu and then memorize transaction. Here, this is purchase order. I click here. I write here or transaction ID one. Description order number one, and here vendor as we have only one vendor. I select this one. Now I am putting the amount of the quantity of. Purchase here. This is keyboard item. This unit price we have entered in uh, when we uh, created inventory. Our purchase amount is sixty six thousand. I save this sheet. Close my order. Now I have to pay to my vendor. But before payment, I go to reports to check whether any there is there any increase in inventory. I click on item list. No, there is no change in quantity on hand because we have not paid. Anything to our vendor when we created this purchase order. I close this sheet now. I have to pay for the purchase. If we reckon, if we remember our uh, previous lecture, we have paid our vendor partially. A part of our payment is. Remained unpaid, and that was fifty thousand. Now we have to pay both these transactions. We have to pay for for this purpose. I I go in task menu and payment option. Here I select my vendor. This amount is the remaining amount which we have to pay for our first transaction. I click here. Amount will shown in amount paid field, and this also is shown in the upper portion. In words, and also here in this box, I have to write check number for this payment. I write check number. I can change cash account payment ledger. Now I select ten ten cash on hand ledger. Transaction will show will be shown in. Cash on hand ledger now. Every field is filled. Now I save my sheet. Close this one. I go to report menu and inventory menu to check whether and there is any change in my order, my uh, quantity on hand. But there is no change because I have paid the previous transaction. I have not paid for the recent, the current transaction using purchase order. So I have to pay my vendor for the next transaction in which I have purchased 300 keyboards. So I go to. Payment task and then payment 
here vendor there is no quantity no transaction being shown i have to write again in this field my order which i wrote in purchase order this is problem with purchase order and not with purchase receive inventory we have to write again all the necessary particulars amount 66000 is shown here now i give check number this should be different from the first one amount is shown here 66000 in words and in figures here i save this sheet close now i want to check my reports whether there is any change yes there should be any change in inventory inventory should reach the figure of 800 inventory and item list here yes this is 800 because we have paid for the transaction number 2 so close this sheet this one and now check your ledgers here cash on hand you have paid two transactions number 1 66000 and number 2 50000 this is remaining amount for our first transaction this is remaining amount and this one is our transaction number 2 so i hope you have learned a lot uh, from this lecture this was very crucial one lecture you should watch this lecture again and again and practice it again and again i hope you will do all necessary things to understand this lecture i say you goodbye thank you very much